Hey there, good optometry morning. Dr. Michael Nelson, your YouTube eye doctor here, and welcome to Sunday Studies. And today I'm looking at an important study that you should be aware of if you're using atropine for myopia control. And we are starting right now. All right, so this study is called Atropine for the Treatment of Childhood Myopia, and it's sometimes referred to as the ADAM study or the ADAM-1 study. It was published in the journal Ophthalmology in 2006. All right, so I'm putting a link to the study in the description below, but make sure you stick around to the end because I'm gonna give you some pearls on what you can take away from this study. But before I forget, make sure you hit the subscribe and the bell button so you can get more notifications of videos just like this one. All right, so this is a placebo-controlled, double-masked, randomized study that looked at about 400 Asian children between the ages of six and 12 years old. And so those in the treatment group received 1% atropine eye drops every evening in one eye for two years. And then the study looked at the progression of myopia and the change in the axial length of the eye over those two year period. Okay, so take a look at this graph. Now remember, they were only treating one eye in the treated kids and they were comparing that to kids that also used a placebo. So this showed that myopia in the treated eye progressed by only about minus 0.25 diopters, while the untreated eye progressed by about minus 1.25 diopters. So this is a 77% reduction in the progression of myopia. So likewise, on this graph, the axial length showed that the treated eyes did not really increase their axial length at all, but the untreated eyes increased by a length by about 0.38 millimeters, and that's a significant difference in the length. Okay, so here's what you need to take away from the ADAM study. So number one, studies on atropine for the progression of myopia have been done before this study, but this study was the first well-designed randomized study that looked at the progression of myopia. Number two, 1% atropine eye drops are commonly used by eye doctors, but what we do know that they do is that they cause your pupils to dilate and they cause it to freeze your autofocus, your accommodative ability. So what this means is if you're using 1% atropine, you may need to use tinted lenses to reduce the glare and you might need to use bifocal lenses so you can see things up close. All right, and lastly, this is the most important thing you need to take away from the ADAM study. So the ADAM study demonstrates strong evidence that it is effective to use atropine for the reduction of progression of myopia in children. All right, so make sure you hit the subscribe and the bell button and have a great optometry day.